Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of JLD Reactions. Today, we're going to be watching The 100, Season 1, Episode 5, entitled Twilight's Last Gleaming. I think I said that correctly. Yes. So, last week's episode was intense. The little girl confessed to killing Wells, and then she jumped off a cliff. Man, the episode was intense, guys. Because I was really, I was really confused. I didn't know what the solution was to that. Okay, guys. Let's get started, but before we do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Also, you can get the full reaction to this video and to other videos on Patreon. Let's get started. Do they have condoms? Finn, you know that last night wasn't just about needing someone. I needed you. Just... I wanted to have my first Earth sex. His <laughs> girlfriend is coming. You were around. Passively kicked. <laughs> yes. Prisoner, step to the rear of the cell. Have we heard from Raven? You can leave us alone, Sarge. Sir. Has Raven started her descent? Firemen on numbers. As of this morning, oxygen is down 16%. CO2 and methane are heading to red levels. Our projections said that we wouldn't be critical for another three months. Your husband's projections were wrong. The council has granted you work release pending review. Medical is overwhelmed. Dizziness, fatigue, vision problems. It's pulmonary toxicity. I know how they feel. The prison Then that's not a shooting star. Get out. Hmm? Get out of here. There. They're coming to help us. Now we can kick some grounder ass. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me they brought down some shampoo. <laughs> Thing at all. Uh -oh, Are you doing it? We're finished. Why don't you wait outside while I talk to your dad? Wait with Miss Lucy. Hey, wait. Hi. Let me get this out of your eyes. I don't know how you can see. I can't see. That's why we're here. Duh. Don't worry. The rolling of the eyes and the attitude doesn't last long. 10, 15 years, maybe. It's just an act. She's scared. It's not getting any better. The decline has been accelerating for the past few days. The air's never been this bad. We're gonna fix it, right? Like always? I hope so. Ever hear of knocking, bitch? Oh, great, it's <laughs> a free show. Anyone else wanna take a look? Where the hell is Bellamy? He took off a while ago. Gear's gone. He told everyone to stay. Whatever's in that thing, he wants it. We've gotta get there before he does. You're welcome. This isn't your fault, Clark. I should have known he'd go for that radio. How are you supposed to know something like that? Because he spent every single minute since we landed making sure no one on the Ark finds out we're alive. That doesn't mean you can predict what people are going to do. That's exactly what I have to do. I screwed up. Let myself get distracted. Really? Go back to camp. It isn't safe. You lied to everyone. You lied to me. You just want whatever's in that pot. Just go home! Don't you? You always want to play the big brother, huh? Well, guess what? Joke's on me, you're just a selfish dick. I did this for you. To protect you. Look, the Ark finds out we're alive, they'll come down. And when they do, I'm dead. What did you do? Shot the chance. I shot him. I shot Jaha. What? I found out they were sending you to Earth. I couldn't let you go alone. Someone came to me with a deal. Do this, kill him, and they get me on the drop ship. And I did it. You killed the Chancellor? He floated our mother. He locked you up. He deserved it. I didn't ask you to do that. That was You're right. Though. 
I made the choice. At 19, 30 hours, all hatches and vents leading to section 17 will be sealed. It will appear to be a malfunction of the fire containment system. So it'll look like an accident. It's essential to maintaining public order after the culling takes place. All residents of section 17 will be in their sleep period. The council has already issued a writ of consent giving the chancellor permission hmm. to carry out the population reduction. The sleep inducing gas will be introduced into the air. On your command, the oxygen supply to section 17 will be cut off. It shouldn't be painless. The document needs your approval. Well, at least, at least it'll be painless, hopefully, if it goes right. You have it. With one alteration. You'll give the order to cut off the oxygen. I don't have the authority. In your capacity as chancellor, tonight, I will be at Section 17, inspecting repairs to the hall. And when those doors are closed on those people, their fate will be my fate. Your fate. What? So he's gonna commit suicide? Why? Because he wants to have honor and integrity? Or he feels like he has nothing to lose and his son's dead? And I'm assuming his wife, or Wells, I mean, not Wells. Yeah, Wells, Wells' mother must be dead or something. Ah, you idiot! I get why I did it, but you idiot. You're gonna kill the whole fucking arm, dumbass. Idiot! Oh man, and he's gonna feel so stupid when he sees that Reyes. So much for help, though, the idiot cut the radio out. <sighs> I dreamed it would smell like this. <sighs> Is this rain? <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> oh, your girlfriend's back. Raven! I just did it. This is Clark. She was on the dropship, too. Clark? Well, this is all because of your mom. My mom? Wait, this was all her plan. The sound's weird. Okay, that's, that's We so were that's trying weird. to come down here together. We waited. Oh, my God. We couldn't wait because the council is voting whether to kill 300 people to save air. Uh, when? Today. We have to tell them you're alive. Ah. The radio's gone. Freaking bell. got loose during re-entry. Just strapped it to the ace truck. Stupid! No, no, this is my fault. Someone got here before us. We have to find him. Sorry, no. Is it 
it just me or does the forest look different than it used to? It is just hey! Where is it? Hey, princess, you're taking a walk in the woods? They're getting ready to kill 300 people up there to save oxygen. And I can guarantee you it won't be council members. It'll be working people, your people. Bellamy, where's the radio? I have no idea what you're talking about. Bellamy, really? Uh, They're looking everywhere for you. Shut up. Looking for him, why? You know what? Shot I really, I, I kind of can't stand Bellamy. Like, I was trying to give him a chance, but I really, do, I don't like him. Especially after this shit. I mean, I know he didn't get to mainly get Charlotte in that situation and he was trying to help, but that was stupid. Shooting the Chancellor was stupid. Um, we do what we want, no rules. That was stupid. Stringing up Adam for dating his sister, that was stupid. Bellamy, he should be dead. Like, he should have no power because he just ruins everything. And I know that seems a little strong, but, I mean, look, I've pointed out four things he's done. Like, and people are going to be like, but I get why he shot the Chancellor, because, but, yeah, but, now he's gone off and took the radio out, and now 300 people are going to die because of him. Taking off the wristbands because of him. All because he was afraid that he would get caught for shooting the Chancellor like an idiot. They need to beat his ass. For real, dude. Jaha. That's why you took the wristbands. Needed everyone to think we're dead. And all that, whatever the hell we want, you just mm -hmm. care about saving your own skin. Sure, yep. Hey, shooter! Where's my radio? Get out of my way. Where is it? I should have killed you when I had the chance. Really? Well, I'm right here. Where's my radio? Okay, stop it. See the river. Can you fix it? Maybe. It'll take half a day just to dry up the components to see what's broken. Like I said, it's too late. Do you have any idea what you did? Do you even care? You asked me to help. I helped. 300 people are gonna die today because of you! Hold up! We don't have to talk to the Ark. We just have to let them know we're down here, right? Yeah, but how do we do that with no radio? You. Whose daughter's a patient of mine? Hey, Doc. I saw your uh, video thing. Crap news, sounds like. I'm sorry you had to hear it like that. No good way to hear it, right? Anyway, uh, I made a volunteer, I guess you'd call it. Huh? Volunteer. Oh, well. For what? To kill himself. Section 17, sir. Any way you do the math, some of us are going to have to jump ship if everyone's going to make it, so... I'm going to jump. You'd leave Reese without a father? This morning, he told me my daughter was going blind. There was nothing I could do to help her. Turns out there is. Count me in. Oh, so like... Chances, sir. Volunteer the, volunteer I'll take a spot in 17. Let's give my wife a little extra air. I was not expecting that. Jake was right. He would bring out the best in us. I changed his mind. Just the truth. I reminded him that transitioning to a new chancellor would be destabilizing. We can't afford any more upheaval. No, we can't. I left two men monitoring the radio. If there's any word from Raven, they'll call down immediately. I gave clear orders. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Don't. This is for my daughter. 
You just think about doing right for the people that are left behind. Weird, because this is like only like the fifth episode. I'm already tearing up a little bit. <laughs> It's not even a sad episode. I don't know why I'm crying. Well, I guess I kind of do, but still. And I never, I don't cry a lot <laughs> for TV shows. You can check my other reactions. They're not dead, though. Safe from up there. I don't know. I hope so. Can you wish on this kind of shooting star. Forget it. I don't even know what to wish for. Good job, I mean. Good job. Too late, but hopefully they'll at least see the flares. Oh, I forgot about her. Did the grounder speak English? Oh man, I don't know what came over me with that episode, but it definitely, usually, I mean, I'm not going to say that I never cry, but I usually cry like, you know, from the color purple or, or like an episode of Doctor Who, like Titanic made me cry. But this, I was not expecting to cry from this. I was not expecting that at all. I think it was the way that everybody was willing to sacrifice their lives for each other. <laughs> And it's kind of interesting to see that Jake died for no reason because the people did not panic. I thought they would. At least some of them. Because I do think humans would in real life. But, but uh, yeah, so Jake died for no reason. I'm trying to think, why, did, why was Wells a prisoner? I don't remember. Why, did Wells, why was Wells a prisoner? What did he do? I don't remember. I really don't remember what he did. Anyway, maybe it was maybe it was a like redheaded guy like leaving his daughter or something that made me cry. I don't know what it was, but man, that episode <laughs> I had to hold back a lot. I really had to hold back a lot on that one. Maybe it was the music. I don't know, but I really had to hold back. And I guess it just seemed kind of it kind of seemed like real life because that type of shit does happen in real life. So I don't know. Maybe it just made me think about that. Um. Okay, guys, <laughs> that was a really good episode. I'm going to give that like an eight and a half. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.